Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to build two spinner baits. One is gonna be built for when you're fishing in extremely stained and or muddy water. So you're gonna need a good contrasting color for that. And I'm gonna show you that as well as I'm gonna build another spinner bait that's gonna represent the big dying shad that can happen after the winter when we're approaching the springtime, which we are now here in the Midwest. Two different spinner baits, two really unique builds. Let's get to it. Both of the spinner baits that I'm building today are going to be on the new Wild Eye spinner bait frame from Lure Parts Online. And the Wild Eye features micro barb technology. What that is, is eight points of contact on the frame of the spinner bait. So when you slide your trailer up on there, it doesn't come off easily with just a single barb trailer. When you slide it on, it can just easily come off that way. With the eight points of contact on this frame on the micro barb technology, your trailer doesn't have an easy way of coming off since the points are pointed in different directions and your trailer just stays on there for a lot longer period of time and it's much more secure also we have that big trocar hook on there this is made on a 0 0.035 wire frame and that is to me the perfect frame for stability and longevity when you're building on a spinner bait because the blades that we're going to be building in here are going to be putting off a lot of vibration now the blade that we're going to be using on this spinner bait we're going to be using one colorado blade in a size two and we're also going to be using a size five in the t-blade now what the t-blade is it's twice the thickness of a regular colorado so it puts off an intense thump in the water. This combination for early spring can really get the fish's attention. And remember, I said in stained or muddy water. So fish feed by sight first. So since they may not be able to see it as well, we need a couple things. We need we need them to be able to feel it and we also need them to be able to see it. So the skirt we're going to be building today is an all rubber skirt and sometimes in really cold water I like rubber it has a lot better action to it and this is a great contrasting color that we're going to use for stained and muddy water it's yellow lime green and white that's a great contrasting color now I don't know if you know this or not but every color changes depending on the depth that that color is seen by the fish except for one color one color remains constant in shallow as well as deep water that's lime green. Just think back about some of your best deep dive and crankbaits. Think back to what's probably one of the most popular colors of a crankbait of all time. That's Fire Tiger. What does it have on there? It has a lot of lime green. So that's how we're going to start it. Let's build it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these beads and then we're just going to put it right on the wire right there that is going to keep that clevis from sliding down and potentially getting caught in there i haven't had that happen but with that bead there now i know for sure that it won't so then i'm going to take the clevis i'm going to take the number two blade and put it together just like so and then i'm going to slide that up on that shaft where i put that bead on and get that right through there there you go and then I am going to put another bead on here. Now we're going to add the one inch spacer. All right, put the spacer on there. Then I am going to add another bead on there. That's the first part of the spinner bait. Now I am going to take a pliers and I am going to bend this around like so. There we go. Get a good curve going on there. All right. Now I'm going to take that number five blade, add that on there. And then I'm going to close this up like so. There you go. Okay. There is my spinner bait built like that. Now all we have to do is add the skirt. So it's so easy to be able to build these lures like this. And just remember something. In a lot of cases, you can build three for the price of one store bought one. And uh, look at that. Did that come out nice? There is your wild eye spinnerbait frame. I'm going to take and push that right up on there. Man, it looks so good. 
That is going to be a great spinnerbait and stained or muddy water. We know we have a lot of vibration with that T-blade. We have a great contrasting color and that lime yellow and white. And that is going to be one spinnerbait and stained or muddy water that will, without question, get noticed. The second spinnerbait we're going to build is going to represent the dying shad that can happen in the Midwest after the winter. And I want a spinnerbait that's going to put off a big profile. I don't want little bank runner bass hitting this thing. This is a spinnerbait I'm building when I want the big girls coming after it. So we're going to use a number five hybrid blade on here. And we'll put all the part numbers like we always do on here. So it's going to be a number five blade. And then I'm going to have a number two hybrid Colorado. That's going to be our front blade. And here's what that's going to look like. Okay, so just like last time, first thing we're going to do is put a bead on. And I'm going to put that so it slides down right next to that R bend, just like that. Then I am going to take a clevis. This is a number two uh, size clevis that I always use on my spinner baits. I have that. Now I'm going to slide that up on the frame. Then I'm going to use another bead. Put that on there. Then I use the space one inch spacer again. And then I'm gonna finish that off with a bead. Now I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna bend that arm around again. Try to get like a nice loop going. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Now we're gonna take that big number five hybrid willow leaf blade and put that on there. Now I'm going to close that up, like so, there we go, got it, there's that, that's your frame right there, now we're going to take the skirt, and this is a teaser tail skirt, I really like this because you don't even need a trailer on here, these longer strands back here act wonderfully they have a lot of good motion to them and this is how exactly i'm going to rig this on here with the chartreuse and orange on the bottom white on the top i'm going to slide it over and just like that there you go that is one big fish attracting spinner bait and what a great representation of dying shad in the springtime and there you have it, that quick, that simple, and that cost effective. Now, when it comes to building lures, there is no better place than lure parts online. Hey, use this code, YouTube10, and you can get 10% off your first order at Lure Parts. Now, anything that you can think about building at Lure Parts Online, they have it all. Build your own lures, tie your own flies, all that you can do right at Lure Parts Online. And the cool thing about it is when you build it yourself, you do it your way. You literally can have something out there that nobody else has. And with this, with this time that we are right now, there's more intelligent fishing pressure on the water than ever before. Give the fish something they have not seen before. And that comes from your talent. It is that quick, that simple. And usually you can build about three of these lures for the price of one store bought one. So go check out LurePartsOnline.com. Use that code that we provided you. Keep on tuning into this channel. We're going to show you how to build more lures, more rods, more tips and techniques. And we are so thankful that you joined us. Until next time, I'm Jim Crowley. God bless you. We'll see you soon.